Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here at the Fellowship of Acoustics. Today, Nick and I will be taking a look at some Eastman guitars and uh, mainly the Dreadnoughts. And we'll be walking you through the entire Dreadnought lineup, starting at the E1D all the way up to the E40D. We'll be playing them all, comparing them uh, and giving our thoughts. Enjoy! So, for starters, I'm holding an E1D, which is the cheapest model in the standard Dreadnought range of Eastman, with a solid Sitka spruce top and solid Sapele back and sides. Most notably, also a solid ebony fretboard and a solid ebony bridge. And Nick here next to me is holding an E2D with a cedar top. Right? And yeah. uh, some different bindings, uh, Sapele back and sides. Yep. Also an ebony fretboard. Uh, that's about it, I think. Yeah. And these two models are about the same price-wise, but the cedar top and the Sitka spruce top make a bit of a difference, so uh, let's see what they do. So we've heard these two guitars together now. Now let's do some uh, simple A-B testing with these guitars. Why don't you start off? All right. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? Uh, I think this is just uh, one hell of a guitar for the money. It's just a regular D D18, actually, mm -hmm. if I'm allowed to say that. Mm -hmm. But it just it gets the job done. It isn't as good as a Martin D18, maybe, but it is uh, about four times, five times as cheap. So it gets the job done. I yeah. love it. I have one myself. I like it. Okay, yeah, it sounds way better than you think if you look, yeah, at, look it, at the price tag. It really does. And uh, it also feels great. Uh, what's good to mention is all these necks on, on all the dreadnoughts are the same, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they're yeah. one and three quarters wide at the nut. Nice, uh, firm, evenly shaped C, I think yeah, they yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. definitely okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they play great. Uh, I think the cedar one might sound a bit warmer. There's not much between them, I think. Okay. There, yeah, there is yeah. a difference, but it's, it's not yeah. huge. So uh, that's what I think. Cool. Next, guitars. So, next up, we've stepped up our game to uh, mahogany guitars instead of Sapele. I'm holding the E10 and Nick is holding the E6. E6. Mm -hmm. The big difference is, and actually the only difference, I have an Adirondack spruce top and you have a Sitka spruce top. Okay, cool. Let's uh, see what happens. Yep.
So, uh, for the second time, let's do some A-B testing between these guitars. All right. All right. Always showing off. Always showing off. So what do I think? What do you think? <laughs> what is, I'm getting some, some really powerful vibes over here. Yeah, this is a beast, man. Yeah, this is the Adirondack beast. top really makes a difference on this one. Yes, but history has taught us that Adirondack needs some time to loosen up, you know? So I think in the future, if you play this, you know, it, every it day... It will get even crazier. It will get even <laughs> crazier. It will get, yeah, really crazy. In short, if you want a loud guitar, get Adirondack. Yes, but Sitka... You know, I, I've got a DIT myself. Uh, I prefer Sid Khan yeah. myself. Bit rounder. A bit rounder. I like the balance more. It's a matter of taste. Okay, cool. Both, both great guitars. Both great guitars. Next. Next. The next and last guitars in the Eastman Dreadnought lineup are the E20D and the E40D. And mine is basically a regular D28, as you can see, but with the Anirondack spruce top, so mm -hmm. nice and old school. And yours is more of a D42, I can't see it. Uh, yeah, more of a D42 style. Got some nice abalone bindings going on here. Some nice inlays on the fingerboard. I've got uh, herringbone on the back. Yeah. Have you got herringbone on the back? Oh man, you've got herringbone on the back, I don't. <laughs> I love herringbone on the back. Uh, <laughs> herringbone on the back. <laughs> okay, so basically these two guitars are the same. This one's more fancy. Uh, what do you mean more fancy? Yeah. This okay. one is fancy it's like a, this one is fancy like just a nice tuxedo. It's just simple and efficient and it always works. This is a tuxedo in salmon pink. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tuxedo 2.0. Exactly. So let's just this get is this. El this is Elton John and this is Billy Joel. Okay, yeah. Okay? Is I can that, agree is with that. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Well, let, let's <laughs> You heard it here first. So that was a great jam, don't you think? Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> time, uh, time to hear these guitars separate. Yeah. Uh, shall I start? Well, please do. The third and last comparison.
piacere. Ci mettiamo. Wow. So again, <laughs> what, what do I think? Maybe? Well, well, maybe. Yeah. Okay. What do okay. you think? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not usually a Rosen guy, but this guitar really speaks to me. I, I'm not sure how to explain. I just feel really comfortable with this guitar. It feels natural straight from the beginning, especially the neck. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There's yeah, they, like the dynamics, the, the response of this guitar. I just love it. I, yeah. I think it's great. And I'm usually not a D28 or Rosewood kind of guy. <laughs> I just no, I just, just, I just wanted to say they really nailed it with this, with this neck shape. Yeah, they really nailed it with the neck shape. Yeah. They really did. Back to the sound. Uh, I also really like the high end and the trebles. You yeah, know, you've exactly. got more bells and whistles going on there. Yeah, well, that's Rosewood, of course. That's Rosewood. Um, Again, I'm more of a mahogany guy. Yeah, but well, me too, but I would not mind. No, 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 no not at all. I would, not mind having <laughs> I would take time. it home, yep, <laughs> of course. I'll take it, I'll take two. Okay, concluding, so we've gone through the entire range of uh, Eastman Dreadnought guitars. Um, you have a favorite? Well, uh, <laughs> so this many. one really surprised me. I okay. must say, this one really surprised me, so um, I have an E1D at home. I'll pick mm -hmm. this one as my favorite. I, I love this one. This is great. Okay, I like the E2 the, with the cedar. Yeah. You know, that's just not something you see very often, yeah, a dreadnought exactly. with a cedar top. Uh, so it will be a different weapon in my arsenal, I guess. Cool. At home. So that will be my pick for today. So Eastman guitars, a lot of bang for your buck, don't you think? Yeah, certainly. A lot of guitar yeah. for your money. And if you're not afraid to shy away from the, the known brands like Gibson and Martin, then these are awesome guitars. Just. There's nothing more I can say. I think they're just great guitars. They sound phenomenal. Yeah, so uh, show us in the comments what you think uh, is the best guitar, best dreadnought in the Eastman range. Uh, also hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.